Welcome back. So now we've got our site plan and perspective views set up, let's have a look at creating some plans and elevations. For these drawings, I just want to show how the building will look and be laid out. I don't need to see any of the context or site details. So to keep things quick and simple, let's just work in the building model. Okay, let's start with the elevations and create a new scene by clicking on the plus symbol up here. Don't worry about styles for now because we're going to apply styles in a moment. So let's just click create scene and let's rename that scene North Elevation. So we don't have any section cuts for these. We can simply use the standard views. So if we go to camera, standard views, back. Okay, there you'll see that we've got our North Elevation. But we also need to make sure this isn't quite right. I can see that we're still in perspective. So let's go to camera and turn on parallel projection. And I can also see that the camera is not completely perpendicular to the elevation. So what I need to do is just open this model, select a face like this, right click and then go to align view. Now we get a completely flat square on view, which is what we want. So just exit out of the groups you might be in and we've got our north elevation. I want to turn my boundary lines off because I don't need them in this view. And I also want to turn shadows on. So if I go to window, shadows, and click on this symbol to turn shadows on. Now let's set that to 12 noon. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I can increase the darkness of those shadows if I need to, but that's fine for me. And let's just update the scene to save the changes. Okay, welcome back. Here you'll see now I've got my north elevation, my south elevation, my east elevation, and my west elevation very quickly set up. Before we go any further, I want to quickly talk to you again about styles. If you've already been through the quick start guide, you will have already created the working raster and vector styles for use in your models. If not, then I would encourage you to create them now using the settings I'm going to very quickly show you. To create a new style, I typically start with the default styles and I like to use this architectural design style here and then modify it for my needs. Choose whichever you want, it doesn't really matter too much. To create a copy of this style, simply give it a new name and click on the arrows to update the style. Then if you go to your in model styles, you'll find here is your style that you just created, the architectural design style 01. So first of all, let's have a look at the working model style over here. If I go to edit under edge settings, make sure that back edges are turned off. Otherwise you get this kind of see-through element. Make sure the edges are turned off and make sure that depth cue is turned off. Allow for dashes. You don't want jitter, that'll make it too sketchy. So simply edges, and dashes. Under face settings, we want to have this set as shaded with textures, and we also want material transparency turned on. Under background, I don't need to see the sky or the ground. I don't have any watermarks. And then in the modeling settings, make sure that section planes is turned off, but that section cuts is turned on. Okay, let's quickly have a look at the raster style. So if we go into my styles over here, go to raster style and edit. Again, edges and dashes, material transparency, shaded with textures. This is all the same as the previous one. No sky, no ground plane, no watermarks. And in here, set the section line width to one. Next, let's have a look at the vector style. If we go to edit, under edge settings, you wanna make sure that profiles is turned on and let's give them a thickness of two. Under face settings, this should be changed to hidden line. So it's just a black and white drawing. We don't need to see any textures. Finally, under model settings, set the section line width to two and make sure that section fill is turned on as well as section cuts and section planes is turned off. For section fill, I like to set the fill color to either white or a kind of dark gray fill. Again, update the style to save the changes. So once you've created all three styles, it's simply a case of going to the in model by clicking on this little house icon here. And here are our three styles, raster style, vector style, 
and working style. My apologies if you already had all that set up, but a little recap doesn't hurt, does it? Okay, the reason I wanted to go over this is because you may want to create additional versions of these styles for your schematic designs. Like we did with the perspective image, if you want your drawings to look very sketchy, then by all means use one of the sketchy line styles that we looked at in the earlier module. So in the drop down, if we go to sketchy edges, for example, and let's choose this one, you see it makes it look much more hand drawn. For me, however, I like to create schematic design versions of those other styles that we had before. If I go to my raster style, let's change the name to SD raster, okay? Now if I edit that, if I go to mix, and then I can choose to mix this style with one of the sketchy edge styles that we talked about before. So let's choose this black pen, and then by dragging and dropping it, I can pick up any of the attributes of this style that I want to apply to my SD raster style. So for me, it's just the edge settings that I want to, I want to take. So if I just pick that up and drop it in edge settings, you'll see it makes my lines look a lot more sketchy. And then all I'm going to do is just quickly go to edit. And I also want to just increase that level of detail like we did before, just so that nothing gets chopped off. And I'm going to update that style. Okay. So again, in the east elevation, we've now got that style. In the south elevation, we've now got that style. And the north elevation, we've now got that style. The only problem with this sketchy style is that you lose the ability to use dashed lines. So it starts to look a bit confusing over here. But for, for this, I think I'm okay with that. I'm just going to hide the dashed lines. Again, you can see the value of having that on a separate tag. And I'm just going to update that scene. We'll come back to styles again later in this module when we look at the plans. So now I've got all of my elevations set up. The next thing to do is to create my plans. Now we need to cut a horizontal section. If we go back to the working model scene and choose the section tool over here or simply go to tools section plane. And now we want to make sure that this is locked to the blue axis because we want a horizontal section. So I'm going to tap the arrow key to lock it and I'm going to place that section over here. Let's call that section schematic plan and let's give it the symbol SDP. Okay, now we want to use the move tool just to drag this down a little bit lower so that we get a good kind of low section through our building and then simply right click on this section plane, align view. And there you, there you see we'll have a top view of our model. So let's create a new scene for this. We'll change the styles in a minute. And let's call that scene SD floor plan. So there's a few things we need to sort out here. Let's first of all set the camera to parallel projection. And I also want to align this view with the plan itself. So the way to do that is just to Again, go back to the axes. If we just pan out a little bit, set the origin point on the corner of our building and then align the axes with the building itself. And then we simply just need to right click on the axes, align view. And now we're square on. So I'm just going to update the scene to save those changes. So I've still got a little bit to do to make this look like a legible floor plan. The first thing is simply just to apply the vector style. If I click on this, you'll see that it immediately already looks better, looks more like a plan. You'll notice these thicker lines around the edge. I've got this section fill. There's something going on here with the journey, which we can fix later. But for a very quick section cut, there's our floor plan. So all I have to do is simply right click, update that scene to save it. I also want to create a slightly more sketchy version of this vector style in line with what we did with the elevation. So if I go into my vector style and click edit, and let's rename that SD vector style and then click on mix. I'm going to go back to my black pen and I'm just going to drag the edge settings to my SD vector style. And you'll see I just get those extension lines and slightly sketchier lines. And that's all I need. So I'm just going to update that style and update the scene to save the changes. Okay, so something I'll quickly want to point out here is that you'll notice there's no, these doors are just openings. There's no actual doors in there. 
There's no windows frames or anything modeled. It's just really a simple model just to get things across the line very quickly. The emphasis is just on speed. I only model what I need to in order to explore the design and then get my ideas across. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to quickly finish these drawings in layout using 2D graphics that will give us the result we want in much less time. But before I can do that, let's quickly just set our elevations and plans up on sheets over in layout. So let's create a new page after the site plan and call that schematic floor plan. I need to bring in my building model. So if I go to file, insert and select schematic building, let's make sure that's set to SD floor plan. Let's set the current scale to one to 50. I'm not too worried about the garage for these drawings. So if I ensure preserve scale on resize is ticked, I can just stretch this now as required. Now for this drawing, because I've got that sketchy style, I'm quite happy to leave it as a raster. This is a slightly strange thing in that we had a vector style in SketchUp, but we render it as a raster. You'll notice that it does make the lines a little bit blurry, but if I change that to vector, it becomes a little bit too crisp for my liking. So I'm quite happy to leave that as a raster for this drawing. Feel free to set this however you like. I also want to create a new layer for these viewports. So over here, if we just create a new layer and call it viewports, and I'll just move that down here just above title block. Now let's create another page and call that elevations one. So I'm just going to go back to my previous page, copy this viewport, command C or control C on a PC, back to my elevations page, and command or control V to paste. Now I simply just change this scene to my north elevation. And again, I just it's just a case of positioning it in place. Again, I'm happy with that set to raster. I'm going to do another copy of this, command C, command V to paste, move it down, set that one to east elevation. That's fine for now. And now I'm just going to duplicate this page by right clicking duplicate and let's call that page elevations two. select this viewport and let's change that to south elevation and the same with this one west elevation having set these elevations up i'm not entirely happy with how this uh, transparency is working i'm seeing lines of walls beyond and it looks a little bit confusing, I, th I feel. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix something like that. So here we are back in SketchUp. If we go to my north elevation, you'll see here are those lines that we were talking about. All we need to do is open up the styles dialog and select our SD raster style and edit that style. And if we go here to face settings, there's a little uh, tick box that says material transparency. If we turn that off, now that glazing is no longer transparent and we just get the flat view, which is what we want. So all we need to do now is just update that style. So now each of our elevations should have just the flat non-transparent glazing. So back in layout, all we need to do is to select this viewport, any of the viewports, right click, update model reference. Now it updates to reflect those changes that we just made. And that'll be the same for every viewport. And that's it. So that's our schematic plans and elevations set up. Join me in the next lesson where we'll finish them off. See you there.